हेलो ऑल आई एम पलक वादड़िया असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट एल जी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन अगेन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द यूनिट नंबर टू दैट इज पाइथन डिसीजन मेकिंग एंड लूप सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ अवर प्रोग्राम दैट आई गिव यू इन द एक्सरसाइज दैट इज पाइथन प्रोग्राम टू रीड द नंबर इन एंड and then print an identity matrix of the desired size that means for example if you entered n equal to 4 then the output is what is the 4 cross 4 identity matrix now let's write this code in a pie chart so first of all user will enter the number so i'm taking the one variable that is n n equal to integer then input Here, enter the number. Then I'll just use the one for loop that is for i in range that is zero comma n. See here I'm using n because I'm just starting this range with what? It's a zero. For example, if I enter the three, then the range i value of i is what zero, one, and two, right? It's a three value, and we want the three value. All right. Here, if instead of zero, if you write one, then here you have to write down what it's n plus one. You just remember one thing: when you write the range function, the last number will not consider. now simply what you have to write if i sorry again we have to write a one for loop that is for j in range what same thing that is 0 comma n and then simply you just write one thing when value of i in Okay, that is one for loop that is for the row, and the one for loop that is for the column. So when the row and column value is equal, at that time you want to print one. Otherwise, what do you want? You want zero. So I'm just putting one condition that is if i equal to equal to j, then what do we want to print? That is print one. Right? Otherwise, what do you want to print? Else, simply print zero, and then final we will use the one print statement. Right? Open and close the bracket. Now let's execute and see whether this code is giving our desired output or not. See here, one colon is missing. now run this here you just enter the number if i enter 4 then see uh, what the output output is like this right but we want want we want 4 cross 4 identity matrix so only you need to do one change that is when you use the print command every time it will write the new thing in the new line next line but if you want to write in a same row then simply you have to write here you have to give one line that is n and it will end with what it's a space okay here also just comma and you just put one thing that is n that is what it's a space so what will happen when you print one after that the zero will print in a same row now let execute this code now user will enter four then yes it's perfect it's a four cross four identity matrix earlier what will happen all the things were printed in a same column but what we want we want to write like this this is a 4 cross 4 identity matrix all right so i hope this code is clear 
Now the next program is write a Python program to print the largest even and largest odd number in a list. That means user will enter the one list and then you have to find out the largest and even number and largest odd number. For example, if user will enter the 5, that is the number of element. So, it will ask, please enter the element value. For example, user is enter 45. Again, it will ask, please enter the value that is 20. Again, it will ask. Likewise, user will enter the five different values in the list. And then your code will calculate the largest even number. So the largest even number among the element that is what it's 80. And then it will calculate the largest odd number. So the largest odd number is what it's a 93. All right. Now the first instruction is n that equal to integer and then input and here you just write enter the number of element elements to be in the list right next i'm just take the empty list that is like this because i want to store all the elements in the list b and then i'll use the one for loop that is for i in range from 0 to n As we discussed, if you use 1, then here you have to use what? It's a n plus 1. Then simply a equal to what? It's an integer. Then input. That is element. Okay. So it will ask the user to enter the elements. Now next. Simply we want to append all the elements in our B list. So all the elements of A one by one. If user enter the 10 then it will append 10 to the B. When again it will ask please enter the element. If the user will enter 20 then it will append 20 to the list B. Now here. I want to find out the largest even number and largest odd number. So, for if I want to show the even and odd number, so I'm just taking two empty lists. C for the even number and D for the odd number. Now, first of all, what I'll do, I'll just separate the even number and odd number. And then I'll find the largest number among the even number. And then the largest number among the odd numbers. So to separate the even number, what should we do? We know that when we divide any number with the 2. And if the remainder is 0, that means that number is what? It's an even number. Otherwise, that number is what? It's an odd number. We will use that logic only. So here I am just putting one thing that is 4 i in b because one by one i want to check all the elements of list b so i am writing for i in b and then what is the condition that is if i modulus of 2 that equal to equal to 0 that means it's a what it's a even number so simply I want to append that number in a C because this I have used to store even number and D in D I will store the odd number. Okay. So simply if it is a 0 then here I will use C dot append and it's the what? It's a I.
else d dot append and here it's the i so after the execution of this for loop the even and odd number will separate so after that see we will use the one simple command that is c dot short it's a inbuilt command that is short it will arrange the number write the smaller number first then bigger then bigger then bigger like that so we will short the first of all list c and then we will short the right and here i will use the one thing that is count one variable count 1 that equal to what the length of the c length of variable c why because c uh, the now the c is what is a all the elements inside the c is what is a short so the smaller element is first and we want the largest element that is what at the last so i want to print the last number that's why i am using this length command now similar for this is count 2 that equal to i'm just using that is what is a length of what it's a d now as i said i want to print what is the last number simply i'll use print that is largest even number is then see in a c we know in the list of c we have stored the what our even number so i want to print with index number so it's simply what it's a count 1 minus 1 because inside the count 1 the length of c is stored now similarly here i'll use print then largest odd number is and then simply i'll write d and here the odd number length that is stored in a var and the count 2 minus 1 now let's execute this code now run here enter the elements for example here if i enter the 5 then is it will ask the five different element for example is the 56 then 58 then 1 then 6 then 9 like that now it give us the largest even number is what is yes it's a correct it's a 58 and the largest odd number is what it's a 9 so our code is calculated the right answer so i hope this code is clear now next is some exercise for you the first exercise is write a python program to display the fibonacci sequence up to the nth term that means the user will enter the value of n and the code will display the fibonacci sequence up to the n number for example if you enter the 50 then your fibonacci sequence is up to what is a 50 if you enter 100 then that is up to 100 so first you learn about the what is a fibonacci sequence and then try to write a code that will generate the fibonacci sequence up to the nth term and the next exercise is write a python program to check if a string is palindrome or not so what do you mean by the palindrome first you just find out that and then just write a code all right you just try it yourself we will write this true code in our next session thank you